What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This video is actually being recorded four weeks after the previous one that you guys just watched. And I've had a couple issues with the truck and uh, I did something stupid and uh, I, I want to talk to you guys about it. So before I get started here, uh, roll the intro. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I have run into a small issue, um, but now I got my truck back. The truck's running, and <laughs> what do I have a story to tell y'all? But before I tell you guys a story, please take a second before anything gets started and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't worry. It's not going to hurt. It's free. And if you want to, you can hit that thumbs up for liking the video when you're done. Just do it! Um, let me go ahead and get into what happened with the truck, uh, why I was fighting with it, and where I left off. So... Basically what ended up happening was um, upon the installation of the, um, of the fuel pump, uh, I seemed to have run into a problem. I mean, there was zero fuel pressure whatsoever. I, I wasn't getting any, any fuel pressure after the installation. All right, so what you guys see before you is the, the box that's usually, that houses the, uh, the new fuel pump for my model truck. Uh, now, what you'll notice up here, uh, this is a quick direct drop-in for my truck. And you'll have multiple ports and stuff. You also have the electrical over here. Now, I made a mistake. I'm going to admit it. I made a mistake, and I didn't realize that I did. Um, I rushed things. And I didn't look closely at everything before I installed the pump. I also rushed uh, trying to get the truck fixed and trying to find the quickest fix, which is why I had my truck towed the very next day after the previous video uh, back to uh, the place, to the shop where they installed the motor on my truck. So what that place did, um, I they, they towed the truck over there. And I thought everything was going to be just fine. Those guys are aware of how these trucks run. Cool. I thought that was going to be a fix. Quick fix. Turns out that it wasn't. Um, I kept calling over and over. Um, once every other day. Sometimes twice a day. And they kept giving me the runaround. And saying, you know, okay, we're, we're, I got somebody out there. You know, poking and prodding on it. Trying to figure out what's going on with it. Alright, that's fine. At least somebody's looking at it. Week one passes, and they never got around to it. Week two passes, and still nothing. Every single day I would call, and it got to the point where they just, I need to have my truck, guys. I have to have it because I use my truck for work. If I don't have my truck, I can't make money, you know? And if this person is holding on to my vehicle, he has a running vehicle, so he's in no rush. But he's not in any rush to fix mine. And I'm getting angry because he's taking so long. So here comes, we're, we're creeping up on the third week. And I call, and one day he, he calls me, and he basically tells me, or he gives me this message. Um, or he tells me something politely over the phone, but the message was, if you have somebody else that can fix it, come and get it. Yep, that, that really made me angry. I was not happy with it. So, I hung up, I called Humble Towing, I had Humble Towing pick up my truck from over there and bring it back to my job where the truck came from and, uh, and drop it off. So what I'm about to show you guys in this box, I want you guys to pay attention to it and learn from my mistake, especially trying to rush things and thinking that paying for something will solve the problem when thinking a problem through will solve it follow me. Alright, so in here 
is the pump that came out of the truck. This is original from the factory. Alright, this is the top. I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't. Let's put you guys up here so you can. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. That'll work. Alright, so this is the top of the pump itself. And uh, what I made a mistake. Alright, pump came out of the truck like so. I picked up the one from this box and I dropped it in the tank. And then I took the hose. This isn't the one that was in the truck, but this is a gas line. I plugged it up, so I thought, to this location right here, which it fits like so. All right, just follow me. Well, I made a mistake because I wasn't getting any gas pressure whatsoever. During storage, the manufacturer takes these little caps and they put them over the spigots. My dumbass took the hose from the truck and put it over that. If I can get it on here. That's a tight hose. The one on the truck was tired and it flexed easily. But anyway, it connected like so. Okay. Well now, with that cap on there, well there's no gas getting out of that. Because I can pull that cap off and there's nothing on there. So the fuel was pushing against this, eventually popped this off of here, and now the gas is spilling over the gas tank. And now I got a gas leak. So when we brought the truck back, I actually had my truck fixed. I fixed the problem um, in about five minutes. Um, I looked underneath and I saw that and I was thinking to myself, that ain't supposed to be like that. <laughs> so my dumb ass pulled this off. Okay. Pulled it off of there and reconnected it to the pump itself on the truck. And our mechanic up at work he was laughing because he saw this. He said, go ahead and give it a crank. I did, and the very first time I turned that key, that truck fired up. Now, this piece right here, okay, this piece, this cost me $260. This is a $260 mistake. It was a mistake. I rushed things, I overlooked things, and it cost me $260 in the long run. When all I had to do was take a second, look at it, pop it off, plug in the hose, and then the truck's back running again, and I can save myself $260. I felt so stupid when I discovered this. I could have thrown it away, but I held on to it so I could show you guys. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, saw this. And I was completely blown away on my honest mistake. And I really didn't think that I would ever make that kind of a mistake. But it happens, guys. I mean, it's, it's something so small. You don't even think about it. You're in a hurry. Whenever you're doing something important on your vehicle, don't rush it. Because when you do, it could cost you money. I'm trying to save you guys uh, <laughs> any future uh, headaches. But... It doesn't matter what vehicle you work on, what project you're working on, take your time on it. Follow it through, do it step by step, and pay attention to detail or it's going to bite you in the ass later. In my, in my case, it did. It cost me $260. I could be using $260 uh, on tickets to go to the drag races this upcoming weekend. But I just don't have the time for it right now. And I really don't have the money to spend on, on tickets to go out there. I'd like to do it. But it's the NHRA, NHRA uh, Nationals Top Fuel. Love to see it. I love that stuff. But anyway, that was the issue uh, for the truck. That's why it didn't start. Uh, I want to let you guys know about this. Um, 
If you guys happen to learn anything from my mistake on this, uh, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe uh, down at the bottom of the video. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about this. Uh, even though this is this is a dumb mistake on my part, uh, I I couldn't believe I made that mistake. Uh, I told uh, Mauricio up at work when I showed him this, and, and he started laughing. He says, "Don't worry." I'm not going to tell anyone. I said, bullshit, dude. You're going to tell everyone. He said, yeah, you're right. I'm going to tell everyone. <laughs> so until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one as much as I had making it uh, and, and sharing this little story. Um, make sure you also hit that notification bell up there in the top right-hand corner of your screen. And uh, as always, um, I'll catch you in the next video, and y'all take it easy. See you later.